hello everybody my name is hassan and today's video i will show you how we can track a gravity form using google tag manager to tracking a gravity form at first we need to come this code repository i will share the code uh, below the video description from the code we need to go to the form data layer gform data layer.js file inside the file uh, you will find this code like this i am just clicking this copy icon to copy the code and then we need to go to google tag manager i have already opened the google tag manager as well as this is the gravity form we are going to tracking from the google tag manager in the tag section we need to create new tag so we can click here and then gravity form data layer this the name is totally up to you and then the tag configuration we need to select custom html and we are going to write javascript so we need to type the html script tag like this and inside both tag we need to paste our javascript code this is called html script tag and then we need to choose a triggering from the trigger section we need we can choose all pages and then save it now if i go to the preview button and check the thing This is my demo website for this tutorial and if we go to webinars register from the menu, menu button you see that this is the form we are going to submit but without filling any information or any required field if I just hit the register today submit button and go back to the preview mode you see there is no event has fired now if i fill the form with all required information like this advertising is fine or banking test and i am selecting few dummy information as well as i am selecting the advertisement and here we can choose any of the check box and finally if i hit the register to the submit button you see that the form has been submitted as well as if i go back to my preview mode of google tag manager we are getting a new gtm data layer event the event name is gravity form submit and if we check our api call by clicking the down arrow you see that we are getting the form id as well as inputs the inputs contain all of the inputs values of the form this is the first name last name email address and all other information which i have put uh, to submit the form now in the next part of the video i am going to share how we can create a custom event with this information so that we can collect this information in our google analytics end to do that at first we need to go to google tag manager again and uh, we need to create couple of variable for this form i'm just reloading the page for getting back the form inside the form you see there are many field and the field which is which you need to collect it is totally up to you but for this demonstration purpose i like to collect few field from this all of the field say that we need to collect this field we can call it source of customer and we also like to collect this industry type field as well as we also like to collect the form id to do that at first we need to go to google tag manager inside the tag manager from the variable step we need to create a couple of variable actually we need to create three variable to create new variable user defined variable section we need to click new button and from here 
we are going to create data layer variable it is a naming convention because we are collecting the information from our gtm data layer so i have given the name this way data layer variable and then uh, z for id because this is the gravity form so i gave the name this way it is totally up to you and then the variable configuration we need to select data layer variable and the data layer variable name we need to copy the data layer variable name our case is the data layer variable name is form id if you come back to this tab also you will get same thing if we scroll down you will get the form id actually we are getting both sections same thing but this is a little bit cleaner because here we also getting many more others data layer information from others even so i am moving back this api call section both of the section actually coming same thing so here this is the data layer variable name form id and we just need to paste it here and save it and our second variable was industry industry and the variable configuration uh, from the data layer variable we need to collect the data layer variable name but here if you look here this is a data layer object inside the object actually the this is the banking this is actually if i if we go back to our form we see that this is the industry type and the industry type value is this one you see that input 13 is showing the advertising or banking for this so we need to copy this data layer variable name and paste it here and before pasting it if you look here clear carefully you will see that this object actually this object is a child object of input object input subject so at first we need to copy the input and paste it first and then need a dot this way we actually accessing this inputs object and inside the input object we need to copy the right key for our industry industry field this is the right field input 13 you can easily correlate which field is responsible for whiskey or if you inspect here for example industry type if you inspect here you will see the input name of the field is input 13 so this is the right field for our gravity form so we are copying this key and just pasting it here this is the industry and we also need to collect another variable this is the source of customer data layer variable source and from here we again need to copy data layer variable and of course we need to write first input then the name of our field this is the right field 16 if you come here actually we are collecting this field if if we right click and go to inspect you will see the name of the field input field is 16 actually this is the right name this is the 16 we need to copy it and paste it here and then finally save it so we have successfully created our all required variables now it is time to create a trigger so i am going back to trigger step inside the trigger step i am clicking new to create trigger trigger we can write the trigger name as our form name webinar register the name is totally up to you webinar register submit this like this and then trigger configuration we need to choose custom event because we are triggering our event from data layer custom event and we need to copy the name of the event which is showing here or here the event and paste it here and we also need to do another 
thing because this is a gravity form submit say that there are many for gravity form in our website that's because this all form will fire this same data layer even name gravity form but we also need to distinguish this form with another form by the form id so you see that for this form form id is one so our cases we need to choose this some event not all events and from this drop down you will find our newly created g form id and our targeted form id is one like this because we are getting the form id one for this specific gravity form you can omit these settings if you like to track all of the form together as form submit or gravity form submit but my case is we are going to tracking the webinar form submit like this sorry and then equal to we need to data layer variable zip form id is one then we need to save it and finally we need to go to the text tab from the google tag manager inside the tab this is the we need to click new button from here we can write ga4 because we are creating the event for our google analytics for ga4 gravity form submit like so submit and then the tag configuration of course we need to select google analytics and then ga4 event and here is a measurement id i have already create a constant with measurement id you can directly put your measurement id or you can create a constant for measurement id this is my constant for the for measurement id like so and then finally we need to give a name of our event the name which we will put here this name will go to our google analytics event so i am giving this name gravity form sub maybe uh, maybe the name is webinar register is perfectly fine our use case webinar register the name is totally up to you it is totally depend on your use case and from the if if you don't need to collect any information from the form and if you only need to trigger only form then this your cases this is perfectly fine but our cases we like to collect few more information from our form submission so we need to go event parameter then add parameter from the parameter we like to collect the form id form id we can click here and we will find our recently created form id and industry we can click here and we will find our created industry data layer variable and source customer source this is the customer source data layer variable and finally we need to select a trigger we can click here and we will find our newly created trigger webinar register submit and of course we also can change the name like this one so i am just changing it a little bit webinar register and then save it so we have successfully completed all of our required tasks now it is time to preview our setup so i am again clicking preview and it is connected now if we go to webinar register and fill the form with dummy information advertising maybe test and then i'm just keeping it as social media and the your skill level is pro and then i am 
submitting the form the form has been submitted and if we go back to our preview of our google tag manager you see that gravity form submit if even has fired and as well as you see that tag we have created for google analytics for ga4 webinar register also successfully fired as well as if we switch our tab to gtech like this you see that the webinar register event has fired and this information is going to our google analytics the information form id industry as well as the customer source is perfectly sending for further testing we can go to our google analytics from the analytics we can go admin section inside the admin section you will find debug view from the debug view you see the webinar register event has fired showing as well as we are getting the exact correct form id and if we check customer sort this is perfectly fine also and as we are getting the right industry type so we are confirmed that everything is perfectly working now it is time to submit it so i am just submitting our set and publishing it So this is all for gravity form tracking hope this video will help you to tracking gravity form if you like the video hit the like button and if you have any question you can write the video description i will answer your question as well as you can subscribe my channel for getting this type of interest interesting video more quickly so today it is for now thank you everybody have a good day